Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmston Farm. It is the start of a lovely new morning here on the farm. Just feed the dog. And we're going to go out and get on with some more work today. It's still March, so we're still in the, the, the process of seeding and stuff. Um, but what I have done uh, off of the camera is I've carried on my mission to raise my environmental score and this sounds absolutely ridiculous it really does but to raise my environmental score I've had to go around and dig up all my grass fields again so I've dug up the, the cows and I've reseeded it and I've rolled it so unfortunately the poor old cows are going to be a little bit hungry for a couple of days till the grass reed rose um, I have been down here as well and I've dug up field 34 and I've seeded that, reseeded that and um, rolled it and then we've done uh, field 11 as well I think it is, is it 11 over here? 8, sorry, field 8 yeah this field down here we've done that one as well so they're all, all good to go. So if we check the environmental scores, we are at 92, 84, 85 now. On those, uh, weirdly, we're a little bit low on some of the other fields. Like, I don't know why that one's at 47. I really don't. That one's uh, kind of confusing me a little bit. Um, but we have got... Effectively, there's only two fields left to seed now this year. Field 3 and Field 5, which, we, of course, we have to wait till April to do those. We've got soybeans to go on Field 5. We're going to have sorghum on Field 3. Um, so, yeah, I've done some barley over here on Field 21. I've obviously done my sugar beets on Field 9. So there's not... Until April, we won't be getting the seeder and planter out. So right now we're waiting for the, the grass to regrow. I'm also just waiting to do my weeding. My, my weed control thing. Because I've got a feeling as well. When I did field 9, it didn't really make a blind bit of difference. The weed control bar. You can still see the weed control bar is only halfway. And that score hadn't moved. I've got a feeling it only works when there is actually crop on the field, ladies and gents. So basically, I'm going to wait for the, the first growth stage of the crop, and then I'm going to do the weeding. I'm going to do the same on all the grass fields as well. As soon as they become grass, I'm going to go around with the weeder and do those. So you may be wondering then, what are we going to do today if I can't actually plant any more stuff? Well... As luck would have it, uh, there's a couple of things I need to do. Uh, I need to move that loading wagon. Because then I can start moving the... Uh, start moving the grass up to the fermenter. Silage fermenter. But what we're going to do today... We're going to get our field over by the BGA done. I've already done a little bit of work on that. And I've already got olives planted. Got a, a gro an olive grove planted. I'm going to be doing the grapes today. But first let things first. I just need to obviously move some of this slurry. The cows are all confused. Like, where's all the grass gone? Where's all our food? But if that's the only way to get the environmental score up across the whole map, then, you know, so be it. It's nice that we've now actually got scores above the 85% uh, um, mark. So I imagine when a few of these other fields all get done, um, 
that 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 score of 78 our total score should also go up which will be nice because then we'll get paid a bit more for all the crops we sell and all the products we sell which is all at the end of the day what we're here for we're here to make money A cherry aid and i've got me lunch my afternoon lunch is here i've got me a pot bombay bad boy pot noodle just letting it obviously go cold before i eat it because it's obviously too hot to eat because obviously boiling water so i normally let it cool down and make sure it, the noodles soak up and absorb all the water and they actually start to congeal a bit <laughs> before i normally eat it I mean, I don't put a lot of water in my pot noodles when I'm making them. I never fill it to the line like you're supposed to. Because I definitely don't like too much extra juices. Oh yeah, we'll just do the... I'll just do the two. Deliveries of slurry. Like I say, later on. Again, maybe in the summer when there's a little bit less to do. We can have the guy then taking it up to the BGA trying to sell it. We'll just uh, empty this. And then we'll grab the loading wagon, move that out of the way so that the trailer that I brought over can actually then load and from the uh, shed correctly. And then Mr. JCB man can uh, move all the grass that I mowed before I started digging up all my fields and <laughs> reseeding them. He could take all that up to the fermenting place and then we can crack on with getting the um, the grapes put in and some of the other stuff that we need for our grapes and olives. Um, what, what I was doing, loading wagon. Uh, I've just parked the mower over here for the time being. Can't bother to take it all the way back to field. 23 so you can sit there because obviously it's going to be a long time before we get to do any mowing now now that I've actually um, removed all the fields. Bale shed silage fermenter with. Uh, we want grass, don't we? So he can start off by doing that then. He can take all the grass up to the fermenter. Um, right, we're over here then. So here we are, at the field, by the BGA, the great big plot of land. Uh, as you can see, I've got some olives in. Uh, got 20, I think I've got 20 rows of olives, ladies and gents. Twenty rows of olives, all the same length, all heading nicely in the same direction. Right. So what we need next then, ladies and gents, is grapes. Unless you think I need more olives. Twenty rows of olives should be sufficient, I would have thought. Right, orchards. Now I've got a bit of choice now, because obviously I've got the variable width mod. Now, one of the things I do 
what we'll try to do make sure there exactly on 180 right and i don't touch the controller then i go back to the I'm going to make these a little bit longer. Like so. Nope. Make f quite a bit of use of this land. But yeah, two and a half meter spacing just gives us a bit more room. So I, I've put quite a bit of space between my grapes and my olives. Not packing them in quite as tight. all gets very terribly terribly expensive doesn't it each row 30 grand So yeah, we're just going to basically just put in a load of grapes. And then we're going to need all the equipment to do said grapes. Uh, do I do 20 rows of grapes? Same as I did olives? Mm. Let's see. What have I got there? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten at the minute. Eleven. This is twelve. Thirteen. row 14 oh no get to demolish but 
There we go. Whew, I was able to fix it. But yeah, I'm surprised the, the bulldoze button. Demolish button. I can't select it. How many rows is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. That should be row twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. So twenty rows of olives. 20 rows of grapes. Now, obviously, we're going to need some stuff to put here. So we're going to need um, some... Big garage with vehicle workshop. Would be cool. Um, shelter with an hourly income. That could be quite nice. Which way round does it go? And they've got doors on the back there as well. Right. Um, and we don't really want to block all the way round, do we? We'll whack that there. And that spent a lot of my money. I can't afford to buy another one now. Um, uh, what else are we going to need? Uh, we're probably going to need... A... Probably would help to have a petrol tank. Over here. Um, I'm also obviously wondering. Do I have a great factory mod?
gonna set that back a little bit over here. Great processing. Right, so we've got our grape in. We now need uh, some equipment. Just having a quick look to see if there's anything in the second hand market that I can borrow. Oh, there's a harvester. There is a harvester, but alas, don't need it yet. Instead, what we, we are going to need is my sprayer. I need my mini, my, my, my famous little mini mulcher. One of them. Um, Subsoilers. Gonna need the Disco Vigny on roids. Okay. We need some small tractors, ladies and gents, aren't we? Um, that's twenty five grand for one of them. Um... Oh, should we have a Kubota? One of the new ones. Doesn't have a front link. Bit of a problem. And how much is that Kubota going to cost me? That's 64 grand. Oh, I can get one of these cheaper jobbies. That bubble car thing. I actually quite like this. Only 38 horsepower though. Oh, okay. Bit puny. That's going to cost me 76,000 for one of them. And it leaves me with 80,000 to get something else. Uh... You know what? I think we'll just settle with that for the moment. And what we'll do is we'll transport all the equipment from our tiny little goldfish bowl of a, a 
tractor. I feel like I'm wearing this. I feel like I'm wearing this tractor rather than actually uh, driving it. <laughs> Feels like I'm in one of those Red Bull soapbox Derby type things. it's not too big. I think if we go around this way... We can walk the side. I love the uh, Formula One style air vents on the side. Aero package. Digital pressurization control. Of course, it's got the beacon. Most important thing the emergency beacon. We turn that off. <laughs> we'll turn that off. I do believe there's a way you can do this with course play. So, okay, it looks like we are not ready for mulching, ladies and gentlemen. We're not actually removing any grass. It's fine. Let's go and have a look in here then. Just at what options we do have on the course line.
this one. I like it. I wonder if it's because I'm using these modded grapevines that are a, a different width. Well, that again. Great job. Right side of the vine. Generate the work. And no, uh, we get a we get a lure error. So we're not gonna be able to use course play for doing the grapes. Will it work on the olives? Because the olives are standard at this point. that worked Fair play. I'll let him mulch. Um, what I will do then is I will buy another one of those little tractors. That is 90. Oh, I can't quite afford it. Can't quite afford it. Mm. Don't normally do this. Let's borrow 50 grand. second tractor
Right, what I can do with this one then... Set it to two and a half meters, which is the distance between the vines. Or maybe not, actually. We'll need to look at that when we get to the field. Basically, I want this guy to be able to drive down the roads with GPS and if we can't course play it we're going to have to GPS it <laughs> and we don't want to get stuck on things weight on the back of that even the 600 kilos on the front isn't really counterbalancing that mm, cultivator that subsoiler Hopefully, this all works. There we go, working like a treat. So we just can drive up and down now, get all of this ploughed. We'll do the same with the olives. And we'll be quite happy, I, I, I believe. So yeah, we spent an absolute fortune today. <laughs> Great and olive trees. Absolute fortune.
There we go. Oh yeah, go look at the map. Needs plowing is getting removed. Field is getting mulched around the edges. But yeah. Olives and grapes are in, ladies and gents. Don't know why, but the olives look to be a much wider strip than the um, grapes do. But anyway, ladies and gents, I'm going to carry on doing a bit of uh, ploughing. I'm going to eat my pot noodle. <laughs> and then I'm going to record another episode in a little while, ladies and gents. So I'll see you in a bit, which will be for you in a couple of days' time. So for now, everybody, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Here we go.